What's up, it's Erica. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because it has to do with my favorite holiday, Christmas. It's my 150 plus ultimate gift guide wish list. absolutely adore watching these videos on YouTube because they give me such great ideas for what I want to ask for and what maybe I could even gift give to other people. So hopefully this helps you with what maybe you guys would want for Christmas. But remember guys, Christmas isn't all about getting gifts. It's also about giving and of course the birth of Jesus Christ. So I do have it on my little notes app that we're going to pull up here real quick. I'm just going to read through them, talk about them a bit, and hopefully you guys enjoy my list and get some ideas for what you might want on yours. Okay, so jumping right into it, we're going to start off with clothing. For PJs, matching sets. Perfection. I used to always go to bed in old oversized t-shirts, but recently I've been getting into matching sets. Victoria's Secret has great matching sets. I love them so much. Same with Target and Amazon. The Airy PJs, Christmas PJs from Airy are so freaking cute like their pajama pants along with that i also have bathrobes i really want a bathrobe i've seen such cute ones from target and i just love getting out of the shower and while you're getting ready just to put on a cute little bathrobe and then next i have loungewear loungewear is so comfortable matching sets loungewear as well like sweat sets the aritzia tna loungewear they have a bunch of different colors and styles very comfortable there's some that are fitted cropped oversized you can do whatever you'd want sweat sets they have a great sale going on right now at White Fox. They have the cutest sweat sets. Aritzia Garage, Boohoo, all those places, great sweat sets. And then sweat shorts. DSG is the Dick's Sporting Goods brand. Oh my god, when I tell you these sweat shorts are perfection, I had them in every color. TNA brand from Aritzia, that brand in general, like their loungewear in general is great. And then Brandy Melville, I also have their sweat shorts in like every single color. Next I have athleisure, so workout sets. Workout sets, I'd say, are extremely good for motivation for working out. Biker shorts are also good. Biker shorts from Amazon and Gymshark are amazing. I have sports bras, so Lululemon, Nike, Aloe Yoga are really good places to get sports bras. Lululemon Align Tanks. Not only are they well fitted, but they're great to work out in, great to wear to class casually, great to wear around in the house. They're very nice to like just have. Next I have Lululemon shorts. I like the Hottie Hot 2.5 shorts. The black ones I wear all the freaking time. Doesn't matter if I'm in the gym, going to class, sitting at home. I wear them all the time. They're so comfortable. The Get Your Flirt On shorts from Free People. They're very cute, very breathable, and I love to wear them when I work out. The Amazon Lagangzi Flowy Running Shorts, L-U-G-O-N-G-Z-I. Those are very cute as well. I have a blue pair, and so many people ask where they're from. Amazon. Lululemon leggings. My favorite pair are the Aligns. I prefer the 28 inch. Amazon leggings are good too as well as the Aerie offline brand. Aerie has the best flare leggings. Like crossover with high waisted as well. Like that combination just makes you look snatched. Next thing I have on the list are sweatpants. Nike sweatpants, Under Armour of course, the cliches. But flare sweatpants have been in recently. I just got these Hollister flares. Wide leg. Mind blown. They're amazing. I want them in every color. They're called the Hollister Feel Good Ultra Wide Leg Pants. I also like the Urban Outfitters Hoxton sweatpants. Those are really nice. They make your legs look really nice. The Brandy Melville Anastasia sweats. I really want them in the white or the light gray. Then we have the Paxson Rosa sweats, which I feel like everyone has at least one pair of. And then also the Airy Spring Skater sweatpants are a great sweatpant to ask for. Going into pants. Leather pants. Let's talk about it. They are great going out pants. I think Addicted has the best leather pants. They have, of course, the casual black ones, but they also have these gorgeous red leather pants. I am in love with them. I need them in my life. Like, I see other girls wearing them and I'm like, y'all look good. Like, I need me a pair. Another good place to get leather pants is Sheen. I do have a pair from them. And also Airy, I've heard, has leather pants. I think I've seen them on their website. Parachute pants. These are kind of like cargos, but they're like poofier. I think they're very fun pants to have. You can get them from American Eagle, PacSun, Target, 
or even garage carpenter or cargo pants these are very very cute i know hollister has some good ones american eagle does as well and then of course garage jeans honorable mention american eagle outfitters paxton is good for jeans too h&m and zara zara is like the only place i get my jeans um pants are like weird on me because i have super long legs and a really small waist but zara their sizing is perfect for me also just wanted to say a lululemon dupe brand on sheen is called glow mode i've heard them all over tiktok apparently they are the perfect lululemon dupe skims literally anything there is the skims bras which i've heard so much about and then there's also the skims slip on black dress that dress makes every girl look snatched i do not care also like just their shapewear in general like kim has been popping off good for her Next, I have jackets. The Lululemon Define jacket. Everyone needs this jacket in their life. I need this jacket in my life. Puffer jackets. There are the puffer jackets or the puffer vests. North Face has a lot of good puffers as well as Amazon. They have some nice vests. The Aritzia Super Puff. I've heard so many good things about this jacket. They come in a lot of different colors and fittings. You can get them cropped, you can get them longer, and they have a lot of different finishes as well. Some are shiny, some are matte. The Free People's Hit the Slopes jacket. Ugh, I love. Next we have, of course, the popular trend from last year, Sherpa jackets. American Eagle, they just came out with some new colorful ones, so you should definitely go check them out. A trench coat. I know some girls that do have the cutest trench coats I see on like Instagram or Pinterest, and I'm like, oh my god, I wish that were me. Next are sweatshirts, hoodies, crewnecks, and sweaters. So first we have Nike and Airy. Those two are great brands for sweatshirts and hoodies. Lonely Ghost is also really good, specifically their heavyweight sweatshirts. Their other sweatshirts are good too, but I love the heavyweight. I love how it feels. Dandy sweatshirts are also very cute. The Hearts on My Sleeve one is the one that I want. Mad Happy is also a good brand to get sweatshirts and hoodies, as well as Pangea. They have a lot of loungewear. Aviator Nation and Free City. These are on the more expensive side but I really want a pair of free city sweats the Lulu scuba jacket I have this jacket and I want another and another and another if I had all the colors I wouldn't be mad for graphic sweatshirts I love going to urban I really can't go wrong with urban it's like my favorite place to shop I don't know if you can tell and then chunky sweaters literally one that I'm wearing right now is from Princess Polly Princess Polly has great sweaters free people anthropology all of them are pretty good of the Christmas sweaters I love getting them for Christmas next we have tops and shirts so going out tops you can never have too many Sheen is a very very popular place to buy tiny tops. Addicted's also good for going out tops as well as garage. The Urban Corsets are also making another comeback. They're coming out in so many different colors. Same for the Go For Gold tops from Urban. Those are really cute. Square neck bodysuits. They are a look. Very flattering. Another top that's been popular recently is the open back top. They look so good. I love them. I'm not surprised that they're trending right now. The Brandy Melville Zelly top. These are great casual tops to wear. Henley tops or Henley sweaters. There are a lot from American Eagle. I know that you can go check out the Skims cotton jersey tees. You can dress them up, dress them down. They're very versatile. And then graphic t-shirts, of course. I have to mention Urban Outfitters. I have like all of their graphic tees. Next, I have bikinis. The triangle bikinis are very cute. Lastly, for clothes, I have socks. The Aritzia socks are trending. I think it's like $18 for three pairs. The Nike Everyday socks. Christmas socks, fuzzy socks. Next category, we have shoes. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Everyone is asking for the mini Uggs this year. I want them in the color Burnt Cedar. Platform mini Uggs, those are very comfortable. Ugg Tasmans, the rumor has it. There's Sherpa Ugg Tasmans. I've seen a picture of them and they're actually really, really cute. Ugg slippers, literally everything Uggs. There are the platform ones and then there's the non-platforms. Platform Converse, Chuck Taylors, I want a pair so bad. Nike Air Force Ones, I think every girl should have a pair of these. Nike Blazers, there's high top, there's low top, you can do any. Nike Air Maxes, they come in a lot of different colors, very unique type of shoe. Nike Dunks, I don't have any Dunks, but I want to be a Dunk Girl so bad. I love matching them with your outfit. The Adidas Gazelle Bold Shoes, so I've seen this on Lauren Loveless, I think her name is. I've seen this shoe on her Instagram everywhere and on her TikTok. She makes those shoes look so good, I want a pair now. On Clouds, of course, I know the Cloud Novas are probably the most popular, but I've also heard good things about the Cloud Runners shoes. Hoka's, Hoka's 
those are a great shoe. They're very comfortable. They're great for running in and going to the gym in. So if you're a very active person, Hoka's, I feel like, would be your shoe. Rainbows or Burks. I know I live in rainbows in the summer. Lastly, I have Hunter Boots. The minis look so appealing to me. I got to have them. Next category we have up is jewelry. So first thing I wrote down is a letter or monogram necklace. This is like my trademark. This one's from Amazon. I literally never take it off. Also, Anthropology has cute monogram necklaces. You can wear it by itself or you can layer it. You can kind of do whatever you'd want. Gold statement bracelets. Gold bracelets in general dress up literally every outfit. Jack Maria has the best gold bracelets ever. They're very affordable. They don't tarnish. I think gold looks so good. I am such a gold girl. The Tory Burch bracelet. It has the Tory Burch logos all over it. It is a bit expensive, but it is very cute. It's definitely best for special events. Kendra Scott, pretty much anything. I know their pendant necklaces are very popular. I think they also do birthstones. The Gucci heart ring, that is a bit of a splurge, but it is definitely very cute. Gold hoops, I think any gold hoop makes an outfit. Chunky vintage inspired gold hoops are my favorite. Solid gold hoops, gold plated hoops, there are so many options. Francesca earrings are so unique and they don't tarnish either. They're really great for formals and homecomings and prom. Any type of ring, I love the Pandora rings, those are very cute, and then Cartier. It's giving rich and expensive. Next category we have is beauty. So first I have self-tanner. I do self-tan in the winter sometimes. I do use Tanologist. I use their extra dark and it does wonders for my skin. It literally looks like I'm glowing. Self-tanner drops also to go along with self-tanner. A lot of people got Charlotte Tilbury last year, but we're going to make it a this year thing too because, I mean, come on, it's Charlotte Tilbury. I know that they have their famous blush and then also I've heard a lot about their cream bronzer. The watermelon glow drops from Glow Recipe. It tightens your skin so well. Your skin just feels fresh and a new and you just feel so glowy. The Drunk Elephant Glow Serum. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Going on to blush, there's Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. That has been trending for a bit. The Benefits Lip and Cheek Stain. I'm asking for that for Christmas because you can dab it on your lips and use it as blush. Glow Screen or Toner. Glossier Skincare. Their Bomb.com Lip Balms are heavenly. And they come in sets. The Laneige Lip Gloss or Lip Mask. This one's a little funny, but fake freckles. The brand is Mariella Scott Cosmetics, but Amazon and Sephora also sell fake freckles. Sol de Janeiro anything. Oh my god, mother. I love Sol de Janeiro from their hair products like their shampoo and conditioner to their skin products, their Brazilian bum bum cream love it and then of course their perfume my favorites in general from them are the 40 i think and 62. going on with perfume i have the ariana grande perfumes the cloud perfume thank you next sweet like candy and mod vanilla dossier is a very affordable company to buy perfume i think a bottle is like 29 dollars or something the miss dior perfume and the scent absolutely blooming it's more of a floral scent way perfume the smell Melrose Place. It's a rich rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, cedarwood, and white musk. Prada Paradox. This is a more citrusy scent. It has hints of tangerine and pear. Bath and Body Works always got a sale going on. BOGO, buy three, get three. They have the best lotions, the best perfumes. A Thousand Wishes, Champagne Toast, In the Stars, Japanese Cherry Blossom, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Those are, I'd say, their top scents. And of course, their winter sets are out right now. Face Roller or Jade Roller. It's supposed to like depuff your face. Ice Roller. Ice Rollers, you just put them in your freezer and you come back out and roll on your face and it feels so good. Eye Masks, which help with your eye bags. Face Masks, you have the mud masks or the smear masks and then you also have the sheet masks scrubs for exfoliation the dyson air wrap a hair curler a hair straightener blow dryer there's also like hot brushes i know the revlon hot brush is super popular right now lastly i have pimple patches so the mighty patch is a really good brand i also know of the star pimple patches next is tech so first we have the Canon G7X. This is a great camera, not only for YouTubers, if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or videography in general. It's also great for photography. Disposable camera. The Fujifilm cameras are really nice. Digital cameras. A mini photo printer. If you have a lot of nights out and you
you want to take pictures or you like taking pictures for Instagram. Tripod. MacBooks are very good to have in college. The only thing I don't like about MacBooks is that they're not touchscreen. iPad. And then also along with iPads, Apple Pencil. They actually just came out with a new Apple Pencil that's more affordable. And of course, you can't forget iPhone. They came out recently with the iPhone 15. Next, I have AirPod Pros. AirPod Maxes, which are just Apple's headphones. Other Bluetooth headphone options. I know there's the Sony ones that are really popular. There's also Beats or JBL. These are all really good noise-canceling Bluetooth headphones. AirPod case. Phone cases from Caseify or Wildflower. Also, the Apple Silicon case is very good as well. Phone wallets, which is literally just like the wallets on the back of your phone. Laptop sleeve or laptop cover. This is just literally to protect your laptop. Apple Watch or Fitbit. I do have mine and use it occasionally when I work out. iPhone fast chargers. You can never have enough of these. I just break chargers all the time, so. Apple AirTags. Portable charger. Wireless charging tray. The Trio, where it charges your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and your phone at the same time. That's amazing. Bluetooth speaker. JBL Flip 5 speaker. You can also customize them, which is really cute. The iFox Bluetooth shower speakers are good as well. This one's for music lovers. The Crossley Voyager portable turntable. So this is basically a vinyl record player. And then of course, if you ask for record player, you can ask for vinyls for that. My best friend, Alexa. There's the Echo Dot that you could ask for or just like the original Alexa. I talk to her all the time. This one's funny, but a karaoke car microphone. There's a Bonac wireless Bluetooth one that's very popular. Just those late night drives that you take with your friends. You can put some tunes on and sing your favorite karaoke songs with it. And lastly, I have a mini projector. I actually got one last year for my college dorm. I remember we watched Murder Mystery 2 on it and that was like the highlight of my week. The next category I have is room decor. First thing on this list I have are throw blankets or a heated blanket. A heated blanket is really nice for the winter time. Also weighted blankets are very nice. Whenever I put one on it feels like someone's giving me a big hug and I go to sleep faster because of it. Urban has really really cute throw pillows. I also know Amazon has some good ones. Lamps, specifically the mushroom lamp. Aesthetic posters, I know Redbubble, Dormify, Etsy, or Society6 are really good places you can print some. A beanbag chair is a really good way to spice up your seating in your room. LED light strip lights, rope, or an LED light sign, or an LED light wall clock. A sunset or a skylight lamp whatever wall you face it on or even if it's the ceiling it'll project onto it it makes any space look so cool a mini beauty fridge you can keep all your beauty products and makeup products in here hatch alarm clock i've heard a lot about hatches i don't have one but this is good for the people that have a hard time waking up in the morning the idea basically is to wake up your body before the alarm actually goes off next i have candles cute candles from etsy that you can get there's some wavy ones fake plants or succulent plants vine plants are Common, cacti or Q. Tapestries, tapestries, tapestries. I have a tapestry hanging on my ceiling above my bed and everyone asks where it's from. Literally Amazon. Urban also has very cute wall tapestries. Display books. The designer ones like Dior or Chanel. Or there's even those really colorful ones. Definitely adds a pop of color to your room. New sheet sets or new comforter. These can both be Christmas themed. Next I have accessories. I have sunglasses first. The Sojus brand from Amazon is an amazing sunglasses brand. Blue light glasses, you can also find those on Amazon. Headbands, Mikey headbands if maybe you're more athletic. Then also spa skincare headbands. Aviator Nation has good trucker hats. Even the Tito's from Etsy. These are like genuine trucker hats. Gloves or earmuffs, just winter gear, you know, to keep yourself warm this winter. The Prada nylon mini bag is very cute. I love like shoulder bags. Marc Jacobs tote bag is very popular. Comes in a lot of different colors. The Long Champ purse, the Tory Burch Ever Ready Zip Tote Bag, the Lululemon Everywhere Belt Bag. This is, I think, their fanny pack. A keychain strap for keys. I have my Lululemon one, the dual pouch wristlet from Lulu. You can also detach the wristlets. And then I have belts. The Gucci belt is very popular. It really makes an outfit. Last category is extra. I probably could have named it better, but it's literally so like random and extra. But nonetheless, there's 
they're still amazing gifts to get and to give. So first I have a Bible. If you guys are into Bibling, reading God's Word is obviously very important. Journals. I really want to start journaling. I never had the patience to write out my feelings, but now guided journals have become a thing. It basically gives you like prompts to write and you don't even have to write like a whole book. You just follow the prompts. So there's the gratitude journal, the do-it-yourself journal. I have to mention the TikTok journal, which is called the five-minute journal. Also a cool spin-off of this journal is called the Bombsful journal, which is basically like a five-minute journal, but it's the Bible version. Instead of quotes, it gives you Bible verses every day, which is super duper cool. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins. Read is really good. Of course, any book by Colleen Hoover. It starts with us. It ends with us. Monogram mugs. I've seen the cutest monogram mugs from Anthropology. Straws, specifically glass straws. Next I have is the Stanley water bottle. Blue lemon water bottles are also very nice. Yeti water bottles. Hydro flasks. The touch hand sanitizer. It's like this touchless mist hand sanitizer. They come in a lot of different colors. And since they're like flat, they're easy to put in your purse or your school bag or even your car. A heating pad. I feel like every girl needs this. And a way suitcase or luggage set or carry-on bag. Just anything basically for vacationing or for traveling. Card games. Ugh, inner child. Cards Against Humanity is a super fun game to play with friends. Hot seats also very good. Who's most likely to? Would you rather? Very good game night games and they bring people together. Nail polish or press on nails. Or if you're really into doing nails, a good gift could be the portable UV light nail dryers. If you're into exercising or stretching, I think yoga mats would be really cool. Subscriptions. So subscriptions to Netflix, subscriptions to Disney Plus, Paramount Plus. It all really does add up. Even like an Apple Music or Spotify Spotify subscription, gift cards, or money. It's very important when you're asking for gift cards to specify what place you want the gift card from. Tanning places or massage places would be a great place. I think lottery scratch cards are such a cute gift. Not only do you have to do the motion of like scratching it in front of everyone and like the anticipation building up, but also like you could get big money or even small money. Lastly, I have concert tickets or game day tickets. So right now it's football season. Go Vens. Also, there's a lot of artists that are on tour right now, like Taylor Swift. I know Olivia Rodrigo is performing right now. Post Malone. So these are really great artists that you can get concert tickets from. That is everything for my Christmas wish list and gift guide video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to please give my video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of me. I just want to say again, Christmas is not about the gifts. It's about spending time with your friends and family, gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness, and of course, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and when he was born. It's very easy to get wrapped up in the new trends and materialistic things of Christmas but it truly is not just about the getting but also the giving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some good ideas on what you might want to put on your Christmas wish list. Make sure to comment down below what's on your wish list so we can get some ideas of what to put on ours. I will see you in a couple of days for my next one. Bye! Mwah. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town.